In this tutorial for new Blender users, I'll take you through the steps that I use to set up a basic smoke scene for, say, maybe building a, a smoggy city scene or something like that. And there's just a couple of really important tips to take advantage of. So one thing is, a lot of times the best way is to just start with a basic cube. And this is going to be the domain, or essentially the boundaries for which the smoke will be within. All right. So to do anything first, I want to go over here to this last tab, physics tab with this cube. And I'm just going to turn it into smoke. See this button? I'll just smoke and then press domain right there. And then it turns it wireframe looking. But that's the boundary for where the smoke is going to be. But maybe I have this huge city scene. Well, it's all about scale. So I don't want this boundary to be too huge because then it takes longer to calculate the smoke. So what I can do is I'll just change this up. I'll move my cursor to the center if it's not already there. And then I'm going to add, say, a plane in here. I'm going to scale it down just a little bit so it's within the borders of that cube like this. Okay. And this is going to be my city. And, you know, but so and easy enough so what I'll do is I'll just I'll just make a quick city in here so I'll go into edit mode and I'll press W and subdivide you know several times like this okay that's good enough and then I'll use I'll press A to deselect I'm gonna go into face select mode like this and since this will be my city I'll just I'll just select these as buildings you know just a random series of buildings this will be in my city and those be these buildings and I'll press E and I'll just scale right up like that alright and then maybe I'll, d I'll do the same thing again and I'll just maybe get a few more and then I'll extrude those as well like this and these will be the taller buildings within the city. Alright, so there's my basic city that I have in here. So maybe I want to put smoke inside this city. Alright, so then what I need to do, I have the domain for the smoke, but then I need somewhere to project the smoke from, or something. So I'm going to put another object in the scene. I'm going to put another plane. So I'll add a, this plane, and I'll scale that down as well so it's within the boundaries of it like this for starters. And then this is really important, this axis. There's, I'm on the global axis and now my local axis, they're the same like this. And with this selected, I'm just going to come over here to smoke and I'm just going to press flow. And I'm just going to use the default settings for the moment. So a couple things are going to occur. One, I'm going to press Alt A. When I do, suddenly there's this smoke that rises up from that plane. Now you don't see it here behind this, but you'll, you will see it when you render it. But I don't want it to just rise up immediate like that. Maybe I want to just have it coming in from the side. So because by default you'll notice the flow source comes in via a mesh. But a lot of times what we do is use a particle system instead and that's what I'll do on here. But particles, I'll show you, I'm going to rotate this plane a little bit. I'm going to rotate it on RX90. And now my global, my local Z is now pointed this way but my global Z is still pointed upward like this. I'm going to move this over here. This will be my smoke here. And I'm going to just scale it down on Z, global Z right here. So SZ, and I'm just going to scale it down to this little small thing. So kind of like a layer of smoke at the, maybe at the base of the city coming in. All right, now let's run it real quick and I'll show you what's going to happen. Oh, because I, sorry, I left it on the particle system. All right, so there it is right there. So it's still coming up. But now what I want is to be able to, instead of it coming up, I want it to move it across through the city. So what I'll do is go, I'll build a particle system with this selected. And I'll use the default of a thousand particles right th like this. And this is important. When you emit things from particles, normal means normal to the face or perpendic perpendicular to the face of the object. But typically the way I work is I use these emitter objects X, Y, and Z, and these are specified in the local axis. So that's why I'm in local mode here. So I want the smoke to go this way across the city. So I'm going to change this in local Z like this. I'm going to crank this up. Alright, now let's try it when I run it. Start. It's got to start. Let me get my timeline. Start back from the beginning. But nothing's happening yet, but that's because now when I have to go back into the physics tab 
and here to the mesh I have to pick that particle system right there okay now I'll run it from the beginning and now you see the smoke gets it's kicking across you can barely see maybe I've showed you can see the particles moving out this way but now the particles are moving across the whole city and then the smoke is rising up like that all right and then for uh, just kind of give you an idea what it looks like camera wise rendering wise what you have to do is a couple things first of all kind of fix my view one of the easiest ways to do that is you press control alt and then zero on the numpad all right so when I do it, it kind of puts this bounding box like it's my camera. Then, then I'm going to press N. I'm going to slide down here to this where is it? lock camera to view. And the nice thing about this is then now if I zoom, say, with the wheel mouse, those red boundaries are actually where the camera is looking. So then I'm just moving it around. Maybe I'll hold down the shift key and then slide it up like this and maybe zoom in a little bit more so maybe I'll make that my view like that and then I'll unlock it alright so if I was to switch views on the numpad with say one or three or then zero zero is back there's my camera view like that alright and then render it if I was just to press F12 and render it I don't really get a whole lot so what I have to do is I need to do something with this and I need to basically take this flow object the domain object I should say I'm going to give it a uh, material volume like that alright All right. so let's render that again so I'll press F11 and there you can see the rendered view like that and there's my hazy smoky scene already and I haven't hardly done anything then you can start changing all the extra parameters but that's a really good way to get started just to kinda that was really the real fundamentals of emitting it from the mesh versus the particle system and containing within the boundaries so uh, you can build entire scenes contained within a little box what you don't want to do is build a gigantic city that's encompassing all these huge blender units and then build a giant box around the whole thing so it is all about relative scale okay well that's it for this lesson and i'll see you in the next lesson